Hey everyone, Dennis Sirisena here, and today we're going to be talking about injections to the talonavicular joint of the foot. As with my previous video, I recommend having the patient in a nice, comfortable, stable position. To achieve this, I would have them lying supine with their foot planted on the examination couch. By maintaining this position, the patient will be more comfortable, the foot will be stable, and it will be easier to undertake the intervention. And this is how I would undertake the intervention. Using a linear transducer, ideally a hockey stick because it has a smaller footprint, and a 23 or a 25 gauge needle. You can bring the needle in using an out of plane or an in plane approach. And in both situations, you're trying to guide the needle directly down into the talonavicular joint. Once inside the joint, you can draw back to make sure that you haven't damaged any vessels, and then you can inject the substrate that you're hoping to put in there. And this is what you're hoping to see on the ultrasound. In the top image, you can see the out of plane approach, whereby you have the transducer over the joint, and you bring the needle directly down into the joint next to the long axis of the transducer. In this situation, you may not see the needle in its entirety, but you should see movement of the needle and you should be able to identify the tip of the needle before injecting. In the in-plane approach, again, you will have the transducer over the talonavicular joint and as you bring the needle in, you should try and see the needle in its entirety before you guide it into the joint and then inject the substrate that you want to inject. In both situations, you should see the fluid flowing into the joint and you may even see the joint capsule distend as the pressure from inside the joint pushes it up. Don't be alarmed by this. Um, but sometimes you might need to do the injection in smaller aliquots because the joint can be quite tight and it may be difficult to put in a large volume of fluid. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the video informative and it adds to your knowledge of musculoskeletal ultrasound imaging and interventions. If you did, please remember to hit the like down below and subscribe to the channel for further updates. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram and TikTok. And remember to check out sportsmedinfo.sg. Thanks again, and I hope to see you all very soon.